Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys, let's take a look again the forex market. So let's have a look on the Great British Pound setup that we discussed recently on the euro currency, what in general is going on. Situation is very similar, so market is coming to the strong support area. Uh, so yesterday we have found great FIB level, FIB support on the weekly chart on uh, uh, Great British Pound. On the uh, euro currency on the daily chart we also could find a nicely looking confluence support. All the stuff is accompanying for the daily ever sold. It definitely tells us that some we, we should uh, be preparing for something here. Because reaction really could start and it might be some more or less significant. If you take a look at the uh, Great British Pound that we discussed yesterday, this market very close to the support. It could and should actually to move slightly lower to reach this area. In general, area looks more tight than on your currency, which is better. But anyway, picture is very, mostly the same, very close. On the fall time frame chart, we also have the XOP, which hasn't reached yet. And you can see that market is gradually moving down to this target. So in the current circumstances, when the new picture here, this collapse, significant sell off, start starting with downside action, I wouldn't hurry up with it, considering taking the position by far. So if you have followed the strategy of the splitting of the position, you have taken 25-30% here, absolutely no problem. Because if you'll take the 130, the bulk of your position here, your average will be around 130, 50, 130, 40 approximately. This is really great if you trade on the daily chart. It's absolutely um, acceptable decision. If you haven't taken the position and decided to wait until the uh, final around the XOP, it's also great. So you just keep could keep watching. Very similar situation on your accounts. So if you take a look at the intraday charts on the euro, particularly on the follow time frame chart. We have, uh, were talking here about the double repo, if you remember. It's now seems if it will be formed in general, it will be more extended because you can see the, the, the some uh, foundation of the double repo is extended. So you can see crossing above three by three, moving to the upside. Now drop down close below three by three, moving down. And since we expect some up downside action on the cable and strong area still stands in some extent in, in some extension, uh, I would consider on your currency two near standing uh, targets. This might be, well, maybe it's marked from the shape of the butterfly. That might be more visible on the hourly chart. So if we take a look here, it's e more easy to consider some kind of the butterfly performance. But anyway, it's uh, two extensions. It might be that they could finalize the possible uh, downside action. So when the euro currency will reach 109.40, 109.20 area, these two extensions, Great British Pound could complete its target around 130. It uh, might be some preparation. And it also might become to some big background for possible upward action. Particularly speaking, if we will not get the double repo, it might be a reverse hand and shoulders or something. So here is the point that we have to keep an eye on, very, very close, keep an eye on the current situation. It's because market stands near a strong support. It's near the oversold. Uh, some patterns are start forming. So this is definitely what we need to keep an eye on. At the same time, in a very short term, for, for a few hours, take a look. The market actually is forming the signs of the bearish dynamic pressure. So trend stands bullish while the price action is not. And this suggests that this low should be taken out. That confirms that market should try to just reach one of these targets. That and towards that we intend to keep an eye on. Uh, because by taking a look at the other markets on um, this year currency. So on the dollar index, we do not see any relaxing action. So market just hits our butt. By the way, take a look right around the same 30% resistance and stands here. So even showing some minor upper continuation. So absolutely no um, tendency for a possible reversal or something. Uh, the same we could say about the 10-year bonds. Let's take a look what has happened. Market hits the top and stands flat. 
So it's probably also some kind of the our bad our soul existing. Just need to add line here. Right. So we can see that the ten year bonds is also our bond, and it explains why the our prediction stopped uh, as on uh, dollar index as on the ten year bonds. From that standpoint of view, uh, the pressure still exists on all dollar rivals, including gold, great British pound, euro currency, and so on. So uh, that's why currently let's just keep watching what will happen around this area. The dynamic of the treasuries and dollar index tells us that we sh should not really worry too much about possible entry at the good levels. So probably downside action here should happen the same as on a cable. And then let's see on for reaction to the strong support area. What will happen inside of this and on the Great British Pound right there around 1.30. So uh, that will probably either today in the evening or in the morning tomorrow. So probably we should get some answer or either some patterns that could let us to consider taking the position or something else. But for now, for today, I think that we just could wait and see what will happen. Let market just complete the targets that already exist to the downside.